Hey, watch friends, uh, welcome back. We're looking at the Patek Philippe. Um, what's the model number? You know, I actually forgot the model number. This is uh, the, I guess they call it the gondolo, which is the rectangular shape. Let me just, um, there we go. And of course, now the great thing about this watch is uh, it comes on the original strap. I love these uh, thin straps without the stitching. Crocodile, uh, of course, original buckle. You know, really good condition. Yeah, of course, a couple of minor scratches, as can be expected. Uh, now I have this out in uh, daylight. We're shooting this in daylight. Ideally, though, um, this watch is at its best. The dial looks at its best in um, kind of a dimmer type of light, more uh, indoors. Uh, I mean, the dial is, I think this is one of the best dials I've ever seen in terms of the sunburst, blue sunburst with gold. Um, the way this it just refracts light. Now you can't really tell for some reason it's, it's either the video or the daylight. I mean, again, the day, you know, I like to kind of shoot in daylight because it's very um, harsh, unforgiving. So you see all the details. Um, it's not very uh, romantic. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to show you the kind of the way the watch would look in uh, normal day to day wear. Uh, this is a smaller watch. This is, you know, Again, I do have a smaller wrist, and this is, uh, you know, it's probably exaggerated. So this is, uh, what's the size of this? God. Uh, look, if, if you think that 36 millimeter is too small, this is going to be too small for you. But look, this is a uh, classic, classic uh, Patek Philippe from the, uh, I believe this is like early 70s. Early 70s is the time period. Or you know what? I might be wrong. It could be circa 1980. I'm actually not sure about this. Um, I'm going to send away for the Patek Philippe, uh, you know, the papers from the archives, the uh, the extract. I'm going to get one of those. I now get some time to uh, spend on that. That's always a fun thing, you know, getting the ex extract from the archives from Patek. That, that nice FedEx envelope I love. <laughs> I love the way they they have to send this in a FedEx envelope from Switzerland, charge you 120, I think it was 125 bucks last time I did this a couple of years ago. It's pretty cool though. Um, definitely worth it. Adds value. But yeah, I'm going to do another video uh, of this watch indoors, kind of with some better light, but again, really amazing, amazing dial. Um, I don't know what else I can tell you. Uh, you know, I think these uh, smaller watches, I mean, I'm a big fan of them. And again, yeah, these, these sizes going in and out of fashion. You know, back in the 70s, uh, from what I understand, um, in the 70s, the really small dials was a big thing. Uh, I think there was a lot of these Italian playboys who were actually wearing women's watches. Because uh, they wanted to get the dials as, as small as possible. Uh, so yeah, so you know these things go in and out of fashion. Super elegant watch, super thin, as you can see, as you can kind of yeah, it's pretty thin. And uh, I, I look, I feel very lucky to actually have the original strap. I love again, you know, I love these uh, flat alligator straps. The vintage straps without all the stitching which kind of bulks it up and uh, yeah I know the stitching kind of makes it a little more durable but uh, yeah, to me it just adds unnecessary bulk to the, uh, the strap uh, market market uh, inf info I think I paid around five grand for this maybe a little bit over five grand fifty five hundred something like that um, you know, um, outlook in terms of market for this watch is, uh, 
I think this is going to be one of these slow type of things. This is something that's probably going to appreciate maybe 5% a year. I don't see any big, uh, this is not any, uh, you know, this is not going to be one of these things that, uh, you know, doubles or triples in value in uh, the next uh, 24 months. Uh, so yeah, this is purely a collector watch, which is just the way we like it. So, anyway, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you all on the next video.